In this video, I will demonstrate how to do the laboratory exercise of configuring a network with WEP, another network with WPA2 PSK, and another network with WPA2 radius of the Cisco course of Cybersecurity Essentials. But before starting, subscribe to the channel not to miss more videos about Packet Tracer and courses of Cisco. Hit the like button if this video helped you and write in the comments if you are taking the course of Cybersecurity Essentials of Cisco. So let's start the exercise. First, we have to open the Healthcare Home Network and we are going to open the PC0 that is a desktop connected directly to the router so you can configure the router. You click the PC0, open the desktop the command prompt and write the command IP config and we can see the IP from the computer, the subnet mask and the default gateway IP. That is what we need to access the router. So let's open the web browser, open web browser and go to 10.44.3.1, press go. He asks for the credentials, it will be the username admin and the password admin. Press OK. And we have access to the router so we can configure the wireless access. Now we go to the wireless tab. We are going to change the network name SSID from default Wi Fi to home. We are leaving other configurations like this and press enable to start broadcasting the SSID. Now we go to the bottom of the page and press save settings. The configurations are saved now. Now we go to the option wireless security to configure the wireless access. The security mode we are going to change it for WEP. It will show other options to configure Keep the encryption mode as is and we'll create a key with 0123456789 as key 1. Go to the bottom of the page and press save settings to save the configurations. And now we have access key to access the wireless router. Now let's configure the clients. We can close the PC0 and we are going to open the PC Dave. It's a laptop. Open desktop, go to PC Wireless, open the tab Connect, click Refresh. It will show a network called Home. Select that network and press Connect. With the security as WP we are going to enter the key, the WEP key 1 that we configure on the router. That is 01234567789 and press connect. You can see that a connection was made between the laptop and the router. So the connection was successful. Now let's do the same for Mary's computer. You can close Dave's computer and open the laptop for Mary. We can see there is no connection between the computer and the router, neither a physical connection, neither a wireless one. So open desktop on the Mary's computer, go to PC Wireless, select Connect tab, press Refresh, select the home network, press Connect, and write the WEP key 1, 0123456789. And when we press connect, the connection will be made wirelessly. So we can see there's no connection. We press connect and a wireless connection was made between the computer and the wireless router. So all the clients in this network are configured and they have access to the wireless router. So they can connect to the internet. Let's close this computer. Now let's configure the network from Gotham Healthcare branch. 
we press this network. This network will be configured with WPA2 PSK. So let's set up the wireless SSID from the router. We select the PC1 that has a physical connection between the computer and the router. Go to desktop, go to the command prompt, write IP config to see the IP from the default gateway that is 10.44.2.1 we can close the command prompt open the web browser and write that IP from the default gateway 10.44.2.1 press go the authentication username will be admin and the password admin press ok and we have access to the wireless router now open the tab wireless and change the network name SSID from default Wi-Fi to branch site also change the standard channel from channel 1 to channel 6 working at 2.437 GHz and to start broadcasting the SSID press enable with these configurations go to the bottom of the page and press save settings to save the configurations we made now let's configure the wireless security pressing the option wireless security on this tab select mode will be WPA2 personal keep the encryption AES and add a passphrase with the name Cisco secure go to the bottom of the page and press save settings and with this wireless AP configured let's connect the clients you can close PC1 and let's configure the these two computers first the desktop of team press the team computer open the desktop because the computer don't have a physical connection to the router let's configure the PC wireless so the wireless connection select the tab connect press refresh it found two networks select the branch site that is this router we configured and press connect the security will be WPA2 personal and the shared key is Cisco secure and we'll press connect and we can see we have a wireless connection between the computer and the router now let's close the team's computer and do the same to Mike's computer press the computer for Mike go to desktop PC wireless connect refresh select the network you want the branch site press connect maintain the security WPA2 personal and the shared key Cisco secure and we can see there's no connection between the Mike's computer and the router and when I press connect the wireless connection was done with success so this network is done let's close Mike's computer go back to the world and finally let's configure the Metropolitan Bank headquarters network this network will be configured with WPA2 radius and let's start to set up the wireless SSID so to configure the wireless router you have to use Celis computer that has a physical connection to it so open Celis computer go to desktop open the web browser and write the IP of the wireless router that is 10.44.1.251 and press go the authentication username will be admin and the password admin press ok now we have access to the wireless router let's press the tab wireless change the network name SSID to HQ meaning headquarters change the standard channel to the channel 11 
and enable SSID broadcast. Go to the bottom of the page and press Save Settings. The configuration is saved. Now let's configure the wireless security. Press the option Wireless Security. Security mode will be WPA2 Enterprise. Maintain the encryption as AES and the radius server will be with the IP 10.44.1.252 and on the shared secret write Cisco Secure now go to the bottom of the page and press save settings to save the configuration and the wireless router is configured now let's configure the radius server close the cell PC and open the NTP AAA server. Go to services, open the service AAA and configure the network configuration with the client name will be HQ, the client IP will be 10.44.1.251, secret is Cisco Secure and the server type will be radius. Press F to add this network configuration and we've created another network configuration. Now let's add users. On the user setup area write username Bob with the password secret ninja Bob and press F and another user called Phil with the password Phil was here. Press add. So we have two new users, Bob and Phil. We can close this server. And now let's connect the clients. First, open Bob's computer. That doesn't have a connection to the router, neither a physical or a wireless connection. Go to desktop. PC Wireless, go to the tab Profiles, click New to create a new profile with the name Radius, press OK, press Advanced Setup for this profile and the network name will be HQ, press Next, maintain to obtain network settings automatically with DHCP, press Next, security change it to WPA2 Enterprise press next the authentication will be PAAP login name will be Bob password will be secret ninja Bob and press next and save now press connect to connect to the network we can see there is no connection and when we press connect to network it will try to connect the wireless card to the wireless AP. This can take a little bit and you have successfully connected to the access point. So we have a connection from Bob's computer to the network router. Let's close the Bob's computer and do the same to Phil's computer. Let's try to see this area. So we have Phil's computer and the wireless router. In Phil's computer, open desktop. The configuration is the same. PC wireless, profiles, new profile called radius, advanced setup, network name HQ, next, obtain network settings automatically, next, security is WPA2 Enterprise, press next, login name is Phil and password will be Phil was here, press next, this is the profile settings press save and we can see there's no connection 
neither physical or wireless. And when we press connect to network, it will start to try to connect. There it is. Phil's computer is connected to the wireless router via wireless. We can close Phil's computer and the exercise is done. All configurations are done on the routers, on the server and on the client's computers. But before we test the connections, subscribe to the channel not to miss more videos like this and more demonstration with Packet Tracer. Hit the like button if this video helped you and write in the comments if you have any questions and if you are taking the Cisco Cybersecurity Essentials course. Now let's test a connection. We are going to open Bob's computer, go to command prompt and write IP config and the IP on this computer is 10.44.1.3. So let's close Bob's computer and open Phil's computer. Open the command prompt on Phil's computer and let's try to ping Bob's computer. So we write ping and the Bob's computer IP that is 10.44.1.3 and enter. And the ping was done with success. So we have communication working. Phil's computer is communicating with the wireless router and the wireless router is communicating with Bob's computer. So the networking is working and the communication is working. That's everything for this exercise. Subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and write in the comments if you have any questions about this exercise or packet tracer. And I will see you on the next video.